Hey Prepsers, welcome back uh, to another important video that is InfiTQ 2023 registration process, right? So as we said, uh, it would be live on 26th of November and yes, it is live today and uh, here's a video for you, a detailed video when we'll be talking about what exactly you need to do to, you know, apply for the drive because there are certain steps guys, certain confusing things that, uh, you know, arises when you actually apply for it so make sure you watch this video till the end so that you apply for it carefully because there are multiple steps like you log in first and then you go to program section you again apply for infinity q you book book your slot so there are two three different steps and uh, we have seen a lot of people doing mistakes in that so make sure you're watching it till the end right so even before we start it, so guys, uh, we already have a video, a detailed video on recruitment process for InfiTQ, wherein we have discussed about what they'll ask, how they'll ask, what are the different sections, what are the different languages that you should know. Uh, so how how's the entire recruitment process is going to be. So we have a separate video for that and the link to which is found is already there in the description of the video. So make sure you go and watch that if you have any doubts related to the recruitment, but make sure you first register for it and then you go and watch for the recruitment process video the link can be found in the description again i'll just quickly tell you the eligibility criteria here so the eligibility criteria is basically be b tech mem tech msc mca or mcm student graduating in 2023 these are the only you know streams which are eligible for this drive and definitely you must be a 2023 pass out it is not uh, applicable for any 24 or 22 or 21 batch pass out right so this is the basic eligibility criteria guys even before we start watching so we'll be posting a lot of other information related to placements for all the batches especially for 2023 2022 right so make sure you are a part of all our social media handles be it instagram discord facebook whatsapp or telegram right make sure make sure you're a part of all of them so that you never miss out on any important opportunity of getting placed right so uh, the the link to the handles can also be found in the description of the same video okay apart from that guys a lot of you are asking about the InfiTQ course uh, so we already have a course uploaded uh, uh, on the prime already we will talk about it later let us now quickly start with the registration process okay so guys once you are on to this link that is there in the description so they'll ask you for two things one is sign in and the second one is register some of you might have already registered for it right if not you can again so if you have registered already you can just sign in but make sure you registered with a 2023 pass out criteria right if you registered uh, earlier and maybe you you have inserted 2022 there it will not allow you to apply for InfiTQ. so i'll show you from the scratch so when when you land on to this particular dashboard page uh, you simply click on to register they'll ask you for your first name right they'll ask you for your last name They'll ask you for your email ID, right? Uh, you need to create a password. So I'll just create a password here. And register. So once you have done this, so they have sent you an email on your mail ID to verify right so the, the mail id that you just used to log in right so i'll just go here inbox might take a minute or two so do not worry so yeah i just got a mail from InfiTQ. someone has created an InfiTQ account with your email address if this was you click the link to verify your email address so i'll just click on to this link here and yes so once you click on to the link this terms and conditions page would open up in front of you so you can just uh, go through it it's just normal information if you want you can still go through it you can read all of it and then at the end there is this button right checkbox i agree to the terms and conditions and data previously notice just check there and accept right once that you have done that so they'll now ask you for some more information so you just need to fill them out so your last name uh, they'll ask for your mobile number so this is a prepensa support number not my number so don't so if you have a query you can definitely call on to this number a referral mail id so that is optional so if you have you can or else you can just ignore it your high, highest qualification type so guys for b b tech definitely this is going to be b so a uh, graduation bachelor or equivalent right highest uh pursuing qualification so let's say so for b b tech it's b b tech but let's say if you're an mca student you need to fill mca details not your bca details and so on right so 
even if a bachelor of commerce or in, or the other options are there in this but if you choose one of them you will not be eligible for the infitq program because they only allow b b tech m e m tech m c a m s c and m c m student as we have already told you that so i'll just choose a bachelor of technology from here let's say your country so i believe it is india your state so make sure you are choosing the state where you you currently are in right so let's say i'll choose noida sorry state i'll choose uttar pradesh institute right so the guys best part here is in institute you can see this option of others so you search for your institute name definitely you'll find it here if it is one of the recognized institutes and even if it is not there you don't have to worry about it you have the option of others right so i think most of the colleges are here you can also try with your college name and if that is not there you can also try with your university under which your college is affiliated to right and even if that is not there you can choose the options of other from here now the next thing is your specialization so guys one thing is uh, cause a lot of people are applying you might sometimes face an issue with the cashier right so wherein uh, this things would not pop up in front of you right so this options might take a little bit of time to pop up so just hold on for a second so that it pops up let's say so all the branches are eligible to be honest so let's say computer science or let's say if you are from electronics electronics is also there so you can use your electronics and communication engineering or computer science or it or civil or mechanical or whatever it is so i've chose it from here now this is the most important area right so you definitely should choose 2023 from here and you should definitely be a 2023 pass out so that you would be eligible for the infitq program right so once that is done guys so a basic details here right nothing of much uh, worry so another thing is institute they have already given the option of other so you don't have to worry here you can click on to submit so guys uh, check this very carefully when i click on to submit it shows me an option your profile updated so once that is done you don't have to again click on to submit button it will just update it so once the submit thing is done you just click on to the done button over here right so uh, till here guys what we have done is we have actually registered on infosys that does not mean we have registered for infi TQ. So once you have clicked on to done, this this landing page would open up, right? On this landing page, now the next thing that you need to do for InfiTQ is you choose, you go to this program sections from here, click on to programs, and then there are multiple options: Infosys certification, Hack with Infi, and Infosys BPM. But for InfiTQ, the Infosys certification is the thing. So just click on to Infosys certifications from here, and this would this page would open up here again you can just go through the basic criteria the examination process we already have a video on this you can definitely go and watch that eligibility criteria is the same that i said right be btech mem tech msc mc or mcm graduating in 2023 and the basic exam guidelines so you can just click on to register now from here so once you click on to register you uh, this page would open up uh, wherein i think almost all the details are here you just need to fill in a profile picture so the criteria for profile picture it it should not be greater than 512 kb right so i'll just try to find a photo so i think this suits okay so i've uploaded a profile picture here guys make sure the profile picture that you are uploading here should be a decent looking right not not with you i mean doing something else right maybe uh you know on a picnic or on a vacation it should be a decent professional looking photograph with a decent t-shirt right not with slogans written on uh, the t-shirts and all just wear a plain should not be a suited up picture could be a plain t-shirt or plain shirt but should be a decent looking one right so yeah another thing that you need to fill here is your date of birth right so let's say i'll choose 1998 january 13th right so yeah once you have filled in your date of birth and your profile picture the submit button has become active and i'll just click on to submit please verify your details before submitting your registration so make sure you have filled everything correctly you verify and click on to okay so your profile is now updated so congratulations you have registered for infosys certifications once this pop, pop up is here be rest assured that you have applied for it but now the last thing is left yet so that is to book your slot so make sure you are doing this as well so once you click on to book slot from here it will ask you for a language preference so that depends upon you right whether you're more comfortable on java or python so choose one of them i'll choose java from here 
so the exam dates are here right so your questions is also your question on the exam dates are also answered so exam dates are feb 6 7 8 and and so you can choose any of the one from your choice and any of the slot or the timing so it's either 10 a.m or 4 p.m you can choose the date and the time slot from here and book a slot for you confirm so slot book successfully so once this is done this is where you have exactly applied for it so this pop-up right congratulations your infosys certification round has been scheduled for 10 a.m on sunday february 6th in java programming language you will receive the link for certification round at your registered email address right so till now i think uh, we have not received an email i'll just refresh and check if there are any mails in the id not as of now so guys maybe they will start rolling out the mail in some time and we'll definitely let you know on our social media the InfiTQ course is already available on prime so let me just give you a quick uh, walkthrough so this is the info infosys syllabus page wherein uh, everything that you need right coding which is python java or dbms or dsa everything is already here right entire video course with mocks and practice questions and everything is available on prime right so guys uh, last but not the least make sure make sure you are a part of all our social media handles you have subscribed to our youtube channel and click on to the bell icon thank you so much guys hope to see you soon with another video thank you